My home office and studio has been a mess in the past couple of days, but it's also been really exciting because a couple of weeks ago, I made a video on a PC build that I'm really happy with, and I added a link in the description so you could go check it out after this one. By the way, can you believe we're in March already? Anyways, in the past couple of days, I have spent a lot of time optimizing how I use my MacBook daily to be more productive and efficient with work. So in this video, I'll share with you six of my top favorite productivity apps that have generally improved my work habits and how I use my Mac at my desk setup. As a designer and content creator, I wouldn't call myself a minimalist, but maybe an essentialist. I don't know if that's a real word, but creating systems is such a huge driver for my productivity and creativity, which is why I use Sunsama. Sunsama is my go-to digital planner that helps me integrate all my tasks in one place. I've never really understood physical or analog planners because, well, I use different apps daily, either on my phone or computer, and I need to sync and integrate everything that's important to me in one place. With Sansama's integration features, it's so easy for me to capture my to-do list, urgent emails, and meeting schedules all in one place. I made a dedicated video on this tool a while ago, and I'll drop a link to that in the description below if you're interested in how I use it. One of my favorite features is definitely the Pomodoro timer that helps me focus and keeps track of my productivity as well. Next is Raycast. Now, it's been over four years since I completely ditched the default spotlight tool on my Mac. I tried Alfred, but I really didn't like how cluttered it looked. But then I found Raycast and I just never looked back. Being able to quickly find and glance over things can be the difference between meeting a deadline and completely giving up on even starting that project. Raycast makes it easy to find any file or folder on your MacBook, but then takes it to a whole new level with its online store where you can find a bunch of plugins created to add a ton of functionalities and features to Raycast by amazing developers within the Raycast community. For instance, I can create Google Meet links in seconds or even kill any app and completely avoid them from slowing down my computer by running in the background. Raycast also made a couple of updates and recently launched Raycast AI, which brings a ton of AI functionality right into your MacBook Spotlight feature. This is such an insanely useful tool. On that note of insanely useful tools, Magnet is usually one of the first things that I install whenever I get a new MacBook. It is a window manager for Mac, which allows you to maximize your computer's screen real estate while multitasking. When not on my laptop, I'm spoiled by this 38-inch ultra-wide monitor at my desk. And while sometimes I block time within my day to focus on just one task, other times I'm working within two or sometimes three apps at the same time. For instance, I'd have my web browser and Notion side by side whenever I'm doing some research. Or while working, I often keep an eye on Slack, my browser, and Figma. It's crazy, I know, but being able to switch layouts using shortcuts is really meta, saves me time, and keeps me focused while at my desk. Oh, and speaking of staying focused, Hazover is a really cool app that does one simple thing. While working with two windows, I'm mostly only focusing on one window at a time, but having both of them in focus can be distracting. So Hazover helps to keep you focused on the active window by dimming the other one. You can customize its settings and play around with the overlay intensity. Increasing this will completely block out any other window and keep you zoned in on just one. This is my favorite screen recorder ever. It's called Screen Studio. It's one of the most intuitive screen recorders I've tried, mainly because it's the perfect way to record your screen, either for a tutorial or a product showcase with no editing skills. While recording, as you click through your screen, it automatically zooms in to focus on actions you're performing during the recording. You can export your video into multiple formats with the recorded video adapting to fit each format. But then if you need to make any adjustment or edits, you can simply drag your zoom to highlight whatever you want. And in a world where everything is now a subscription, I do appreciate that this app is a one-time purchase because it's so simple and really comes in clutch when I'm trying to show a friend or a colleague how something works. On that note, I couldn't help but share this. Scribe is perfect for creating documentations on anything. Whenever a friend or colleague needs help navigating websites or a product, I use Scribe to create a mini how-to document that they can reference anytime. It's also perfect for programmers who always need to create documentation for their work. 
Now, I'm not a software engineer, and while I no longer work professionally as a front-end developer, I still practice building little passion projects on weekends or in my spare time, just to brush up on my skills a little. And while I mostly use VS Code for my projects, I recently discovered a replacement for my Mac terminal. Warp is a terminal with AI functionalities, which helps with a lot of things like package installation, NPM commands, and so much more. I have personally only been using this for about a week and still exploring its features in depth, but I can say this, it has a lot of potential and has really improved my workflow when starting a new coding project. I love making these types of videos because I get a chance to share some of my favorite apps and also learn from you all as well. So let me know in the comments section what apps you use daily, either on Mac or Windows, it really doesn't matter. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next video, it's time to get back to work.